major update to the mysterious disappearance of the leader of one of the biggest, most powerful collective law enforcement agencies in the world, Interpol. The head of Interpol vanished two weeks ago after taking a flight to Beijing. No one really knew exactly where he was, what happened to him. Now, China's government confirms they arrested Meng Hongwei and he's being investigated for corruption, specifically taking bribes. Over the weekend, Interpol said that Meng resigned as the organization's president. Interpol is a French-based global policing organization. They coordinate, they share intelligence among more than 190 countries. I believe the fact of Meng Hongwei being suspected of violating the law and being investigated shows the Chinese government's resolution to promote rule of law and anti-corruption. Meng Hongwei is suspected of bribery and violating the law and has submitted his resignation as president of Interpol. With me now is James Rogers, founding member of the Henry Jackson Society. James, this story has everything. International intrigue, drama, corruption, involving the world's biggest collective law enforcement agency. But I want to ask you the big unanswered question for you right now. What is it? What's the big thing that is not making sense in this picture? Uh, good to be with you. Um, I think the big issue is about transparency and the nature of the Chinese government and uh, the nature of the disappearance. I mean, it's been some days now since the original disappearance of an important official from a very important international organization. And it seems that he just disappeared um, into the middle of the night. Um, and it's, it's very difficult for us to understand exactly what's happened. And this suggests that there are some serious issues in relation to transparency um, uh, that the Chinese state has, not only with its international partners, but also with international organizations. James, and this is, leads us to James, is there also the possibility of a conspiracy here? I mean, Interpol knew where he was before he took off from China. They did not raise any alarm bells for more than a week. They just they couldn't get a hold of their own head, their own executive, for days and days and days. Did Inter is Interpol as an organization somehow to blame for this? I don't think so. I think this is more to do with the nature of the Chinese uh, government. After all, a number of different officials have disappeared like this in the past. Um, as well as uh, financiers and economists and other people, even uh, pop idols, I think, in China. So this is a very common occurrence, and I think it leads us to ask questions about the transparency of the Chinese uh, government and the way in which it apprehends people that it believes might have committed crimes. All right, James Rogers with the Henry Jackson Society.